Getting ready to take this load of hay here to Morrow, Ohio for Sharky. And I think that's what she's calling her place. That's what her last name used to be. Anyway, so that's going. Got a call from Dancing Horse down in Lebanon. Uh, they're going to want uh, maybe 500 bales in the next few weeks. They're going to need hay before we make any. So that's a good thing, actually. Looking ugly, but I did a little rust repair you can buy those little pieces I put one on the other side too next is that and that is gonna be fixed this truck's got to stick around since uh, the white one is here now all right so maybe I've told the story on this hay mower before I had a bearing go out one of the worst things that can happen when you need to get things done you got a bearing go out you got to run back to the farm and get it swapped out we keep extra bearings now and uh, I don't know if I've showed you this before this bracket here we have beefed this up because the brackets from the factory were junk and cracked this was all loose in here on us once before um, this here broke on us once before that cylinder even with a new kit in it still uh, drifts off looks like we're going to, have to keep this one because you cannot find, so this one mows about 10 foot. Uh, you cannot find, I couldn't find one of these online to compare a price to. I, I mean, we have an idea, and by the way, that skirt's getting replaced. We have that. We have an idea of what we could ask for it. Um, and uh, that's by just talking to a couple people who know these machines. We'd like to go with the leaf. Just talk to my salesman. He's got 13 footers, which is, 13 foot would be too much for that 90 to 95 horsepower PTO tractor. What is hanging on my finger? Our tractor would not handle that. What's that mean? We'd have to step up size as the tractors. What's that mean right now in the post COVID era? You can't get tractors right now. Even if we wanted to go, we'd like to go back to a new Holland mower. We have never had um, a good mower since we had the new Holland. We traded this one off for New Holland because at the time New Holland did not have a 10 foot cut center pivot mower. And, but we really like this. Now New Holland does, but you can't get them. You can't find them anywhere. My salesman said they're nowhere to be found. Nine and 10 foot mowers, center pivot design. You could not find them. He's got 13 footers. And uh, manufacturing was shut down for a while. Um, it just sucks. It really sucks. Um, I'm really glad we've got the equipment we need right now to make hay. I was not looking at getting any other piece of equipment for this summer. Um, just trying to stay in budget this year, not go out and spend a lot of money. Um, I did hear something neat the other day where you got to burn it if you want to earn it. I guess that means you got to burn fuel if you want to earn money. And uh, yeah, cheese oh pizza. How we doing today? Long time no talk. This is May 9th. And oh, that might be close up. So this is May 9th. May go out and cut some hay here. Got the motor hook behind me. We're gonna try this patch behind our house. See what happens. Well we're cutting hay on this two or three acres here behind my house. I think it's closer to two now because I cut part of it off to make a small pasture here the girls um, so far so good up here uh, on top of the hill here it's a little light but the uh, mower's going good can't ask for a whole lot better and uh, we'll get this done dad and i's talking about maybe mowing somewhere else not sure so we'll see how it goes here uh, as i need to get used to holding a camera and operating stuff 
I'm doing so well with that so far. <laughs> So we moved over to Long Road. I just cut that piece out front. Right now we're crossing the bridge here in this driveway. If you can see my mirrors, she's a little tight. This is why we can't get a bigger mower. Well, that and this tractor might not handle it, but uh, look at that. That railing used to be higher too. He redid uh, some stuff on this bridge. Wish he could have gone higher or, or wider, I mean. There we are, we, we're cleared. Uh, we're gonna hit this center field. It always grows thick in this first half. Water lays back there. We're just gonna stay out, um, out of that corner anyway. Hopefully we don't hit any water. Well, now we're back here in this backfield. It's not as tall as what I've cut it before. Um, I'd have to go back in the book and look and see. We always just get two cuttings off this place except for that little patch up front. Like I said, I'd have to go back and uh, see what the date was when we got the second cutting off this, but it's it's grown back pretty decent. It's going to make good quality hay, good easy to eat hay, not the real long stringy stemmy stuff that nobody likes. And this is why I say uh, when a customer, you know, a horse customer always asks for second cutting hay that they want to stay away from first, I always say, you know, why? How we doing everybody? Tired of waiting on this rain. I'm gonna go out and cut some hay because it looks like the next four or five days we've got some good weather. But that over there, that doesn't look like good weather, but eh. Okay, so fourth round around here, going around and around, treading some water back here. <laughs> So this is Haley's field. We're cutting out first. It's nice and thick. We fertilized it last fall with manure. Uh, it did its job. I always go four rounds around the field, sometimes five. Uh, our tether takes up two of these swaths, so it's always good to do an even number. Um, sometimes it takes five or six rounds around to give yourself room on the ends to turn, especially if there's a fence or a tree line. I think I'm just gonna do four here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we are at Casey's. It's nice and thick. This is the front part up here. We'll get back to the back part there in a minute. A little thin right in here. But uh, as you can see up through there, uh, nice and thick. A lot drier than it was over there at Haley's. I have not, uh, well I take that back. Very back corner where our water always lays anyway. Uh, there was water land. Other than that, I haven't seen anything else yet. So, hey, we're just getting started. Well, down there at Casey's, heading uh, 72 south here, towards Bowersville. May have to stop and get some fuel, because I mean, me, I didn't top it off where I left. We got 13 acres yet to cut tonight, and so how many fuel with me? Uh, so far today, I have loaded some hay on the gooseneck that my son is delivering. And uh, changed the oil, rotated the tires on my daughter's car. We've got the baler hooked up and ready. And that's what I'm driving in now. Greg taking it over here to the field. Dad is breaking. He seems like a nervous wreck. I'm not sure why. So we got today and tomorrow to bail. We got a strong chance of rain on Wednesday. I say strong 60%. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, we got this and we got long road. A lot of hay to, okay, just a minute. A lot of hay to bail today and tomorrow. Like I say, we'll take a break for a day. We'll get right back at it. So everything's drying out nice. Got one heck of a breeze. Dad's out here in the hot sun, he's raking. Uh, I'm in the AC. I'm going to swap out with him here in just a little bit.
okay, here's where we stand. Yeah, I got my shirt off. Sorry for the nakedness. Uh, I try and keep it above the shoulders, right? Um, so here's what's going on. We're bailing today over on Long Road. Uh, we bailed yesterday at Haley's, Casey's, and Willie Rifford's. Uh, right out of 1,000 bail day. Willie's did not do as well as suspected. That field needs some work. And uh, we're going to look into that. And uh, so that's all taken care of. We've moved out of there. I still have Haley's half of her hay on a wagon that uh, she's going to come and get and get unloaded. Uh, if I have to tonight, I will get it inside for her. I think they're calling for rain late tomorrow evening. Or late tomorrow afternoon probably about this time i think is what they're saying which is fine we'll have everything up by then uh, dad's going to be done bailing here in about uh, probably about a half hour uh we misjudged how many bales were here at least i did i guess i figured uh, 8 to 8 50. he doesn't have enough twine for that he said so i loaded the gooseneck with the 167 it's going to go to dancing horse uh, if the weather holds i will take it first thing in the morning yeah, we're gonna have plenty of plenty to do tomorrow with the delivery to Dancing Horse. Then I'll have plenty of hay to unload if I don't unload some of this tonight. So I've picked up, I think I just looked 347 so far, so I still got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, it's just Dad and I today. Uh, my buddy Carter down the road, young guy, he helped me uh, at Willie's put hay away in his barn at his half. And so that's done. Okay, we're going to get on down the road and play it safe here.